Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping back in and I am back. I'm back from my holiday. I have been away to Greece for a week as I've been telling you guys for quite some time and I had a fantastic time. It was absolutely amazing. So let's first of all randomize that character and see what we can get going on. Oh, I'm not doing a tainted Lazarus run. Oh, it's the deleted again. Okay, I guess it's just the third deleted run in a row. But, you know, um, let's let's see. Who are we going to actually uh, play as? Let's find out. Let's see what thumbnails we've got, because never named mid quite a few. But, yeah, we're jumping in as the deleted again. Um, Crypto Locker, Jerusalem. Uh, let's try Jerusalem, maybe. We've got Zip Bomber. Let's, let's have a look what we've got unlocked first, because uh, some of them are locked. Let's have a look. But, yeah, I'm happy to be playing more deleted. He's very fun. It can be a bit laggy, but he's very fun. Right, um, Zip Bomber. This is one of them that we can go as. Uh, no corrupted items use extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect. That's kind of interesting. Crypt Locker. No red hearts. Corrupted effects are concealed, um, but they provide a damage bonus. Oh, that that sounds just crazy. Um, we did Spyware, and then Jerusalem is Eden Mode. Start with random stats, uh, items, and appearances. An old virus um, which spawns many variants. Let's try this one. This sounds kind of interesting. Um, so... What? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, we've got a little Ipecac buddy on our head. We, we started with some, some smelted stuff. Oh, this is confusing. This is confusing. But yeah, as for the question of the day, I'm going to keep it basic. How have your guys' week been? Because, um... While obviously you guys have been commenting, I haven't read them yet. I'm going to get back to, to reading and replying to all the comments from the last week. Um, like I said, I apologize because obviously I was away. I didn't get a chance to read them all. Um, but I will, and I will reply to pretty much every single one for the most part. So what does our active do here? Okay, our active teleported us. Um, oh, this is confusing. This is. Uh, by the way, just, just, just for reference, I haven't played Isaac in like nine days. So I'm going to be a little... Just a little bit unfamiliar, uh, and it's probably going to take me a hot minute to remember how on earth to play this game. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll see. So far, I'm actually pretty happy with the stuff we've got going on here. Uh, I don't know what the trinket we've got smelted is here. What? Why are these guys firing out dips? Do they normally fire out dips, or is that a new thing? They normally fire out the corn things. I like that. I like that. Maybe that's a change from uh, a mod that I've got. Anyways, let's drop our trinket here. We seem to have my shadow. Um, spawns a blue fly. Each new room spawns 12 blue flies when crushed. Okay, that's kind of decent. We just got a bunch of golem trinkets. I don't really know what happened or why, but hey her, I'm not going to complain. Um, yeah, very confusing. But yeah, just question of the day is how, how has your guys' week been? Because I'm going to talk about how my holiday was for this episode for the majority of. Um, so <laughs> Also, it doesn't seem that we can hurt ourselves with the Ipecac explosion, which is surprising. And we got a crawl space here as well. So, am I going to get any corrupted items or not? How does this guy work? Oh, we shoot at him and he stops, maybe? I don't, I don't really know. Okay, okay. Ipecac guy, don't hurt me. Thank you. Double pills, I'm just going to take him because we got double pills. Hey, not bad, not bad. Although, it's actually kind of stopped him in a terrible spot for us. Can we kill this guy? I don't think we can, can we? We can, with explosions, apparently. All sorts of confusion going on. I'm, I'm really just trying to catch up. I, I was going to just talk straight about my holiday, but honestly, the game has given me no time. This little Ipecac dude is slamming. He's so good. Um, he just fires like crazy and does good damage and can blow stuff up. And I think he can find secret rooms for me, maybe? I'm going to have to test that theory. Can you blow up this? Oh, no. Okay, he only fires at enemies. Okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. Right, but anyways, on to, on to my holiday antics. So, yeah, as I said, I went to Greece for a week. Um, it was fantastic. I actually went, um, what on earth happened there? I got a broken heart from something. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so I, um, I actually kind of went with my parents. I didn't really go with them, but they were there while I was there, which may sound kind of odd, but they, they went out a few days before us, and they were staying an extra week than us. Me and my girlfriend only stayed a week. They're staying two weeks. But it was their 30th uh, wedding anniversary holiday, and so they invited us to come with them because we hadn't... Me and my girlfriend hadn't been on a holiday before together, like a proper 
a broad holiday, so we thought it'd be a good time to go. Um, and yeah, like, they, they've been there like five years running. Um, so if I use my space bar here... Okay, I didn't do anything. It seems to spawn a bunch of stuff on the floor. Um, yeah, they invited us out, and uh, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Okay, so I just spawned a bunch of troll bombs. The confusion is is deep right now. I have absolutely no idea what's going on, really. Um, this is a strange version of the deleted. I'm, I'm still not really... I'm, I'm, I think maybe the um, spacebar item is just like a random effect each time you use it by the looks of it. Maybe. But it seems to also have the teleportation. No, maybe it just spawns troll bombs and that's... I, I, I'm truly... Truly uh, unaware of what's going on right now. Um, <laughs> maybe I can uh, hold tab and find out. Okay. Item reminder. On use... So, maybe... Maybe this thing just does a random thing when you start, and we just got unlucky for it to be kind of a crap effect by the looks of it. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> so it's not going to be a super heavy deleted run, because we're not going to be getting corrupted items, I don't think. We just started off with this this first active, which ended up being honestly kind of poopy, because um, it's it got the full card effect attached to it. Um, but we got, we got some other good stuff in there. Um, we might want to take a library, to be honest. Um, doubles all trinket spawns, converts any trinkets to gold trinkets on use. I mean, that's just good in itself right now. Um, we also got the Book of Judges. While in um, act while in an active room, beams of light will strike at random um, positions marked by crosshairs. Beams hurt enemies and inflict burn, but the hurt player on use cancels the effect for the current room. That sound sounds kind of interesting. Um, we'll come back in here if we get how to jump, but for now we'll just uh, be on our little merry way. Um, and so, yeah, I... Um, I was very happy to uh, to go out uh, there with my parents, so I thought it was a really good idea. And we ended up having a really good time, because like I said, they've been there multiple years. I think five years in a row now they've been to this this one little village in, in Greece. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's come along. And um, it was it was a, pr a pretty quiet place, to be honest. Um, it wasn't a very, like, heavy party scene. There wasn't soup, there wasn't a ton going on. It was a pretty small town. And it wasn't, ve it, well, it was a bit touristy, but it wasn't very touristy. Like, it, it definitely had some souvenir shops and things like that. But for the most part, it was a fairly normal, um, normal little sort of village. And, oh, it was just so quiet and peaceful and nice and lovely. And I just, I don't know, it was, it was like, so relaxing. It was, like, the perfect level of relaxing for a holiday to be. Um, it is, it is a, exactly what I'd want from a holiday. Uh, so, basically, the entire time we were there, we, um, sort of went out in the sun, took some photos, because my girlfriend's sort of in, into photography, so we went around and took some photos, hung out in the sea, by the pool, uh, eat, ate just an inordinate amount of good food, and I mean an inordinate amount. I had just the most insane appetite while I was there because I was only there for one week and obviously Greek food is amazing and also Greek food is one of my favorite types of food um so I was uh, going absolutely hog wild on all of the food and I was eating um sometimes like four or five meals a day and I wasn't even hungry I just wanted to eat them because they tasted nice so safe to say um I put on quite a bit of weight while I was there so I'm gonna have to uh chill out a little bit now that I'm back and uh try and uh Try and shake some of that off because yeah, I, I I went I went hard, but I'm very very happy that I did. I think it was extremely worthwhile, extremely extremely worthwhile. Um and yeah, I had all the fun. So like there was a few different places. There was there was a little takeaway called Stam Stams that did like um like it kind of from the outside looked like a sort of typical British shitty kebab shop, but oh my god, the food there was just divine. Got um gyros with um like it was called a gyros portion. You got like a gyros um meat like pork gyros meat, pitters, um a bit of salad like onions and tomatoes and stuff, um and tzatziki, which is honestly a sauce made from the gods. It's just the most enjoyable thing ever. Also, my health is not so hot right now. Um oh god damn, I took a lot of damage there. 
It's okay. I'm. I think if I die, it's completely within the realms of of being completely okay. Um. But I would very much like that, but I don't think I can take it. Um. Is there any way that I can take this? I don't think there is, which really depresses me because I want it. There is some skulls in here. There's a chance that I get just some, somehow get a ton of health. The chance was was low. I tried it though. Damn, I really want that. I really want that. <laughs> I wanted it so badly and I can't have it. it. Depresses me deeply. Anyways, we didn't get any keys there. So we miss out on our item room and stuff. I think we get some planetarium chance for that though. It's nice at least. It's a constellation prize. Um, not a great one, but it is one at least. Um. And, and that sort of food, yeah, was, was kind of, like, everywhere. Like, one one thing that's kind of interesting is that pretty much everywhere you went did did very similar food, but it all had its own, own twist on it. Like, tzatziki was pretty much standard everywhere. If you don't know what that is, by the way, it's a garlic and cucumber, like, yogurt-based dip. And, oh, my lord. It's, it's very good, and especially, obviously, like, it being made by Greek people, it was even better. It was, uh, it was very, very nice. And so... Pretty much had that all the time. And like everywhere was like home homemade fries. Like everywhere you went, it was like homemade fries. Um and oh they were they were really good. So like satsiki and fries was like a standard meal for us. Um like I said, I got a lot of gyro gyros meat, including a gyros pizza at one point, which might well have been one of the best pizzas I've ever eaten in my life. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, and also, as an added bonus, so um, in the place we were in, and I think just in Greece in general, was a lot of wild uh, cats, a lot of like stray cats, just like everywhere. Uh, they're all like pretty friendly, like a lot of them are pretty human friendly. I think it's obviously because people have fed them in the past, especially in a situation where we were, where it's um, where it's people visiting. Oh, I kind of wish we would have taken the other one there, but we got a little chubby. Oh my god, look at us, we look fucking amazing. Um... Yes, there was, there was a good amount of uh, stray cats about, but they were pretty friendly and they seem fairly well groomed. I think there is a few people around the town that, that like, look after them and, like, like a lot of them were neutered so they don't get, like, the population doesn't go too wild. Like, my parents were saying that the years prior that they'd been, the population of cats was a lot higher. And um, so it seems like they'd at least somewhat sorted that out. Um, but anyways, this pizza that I had, we were sat um, by the Bay Area. There was, like, a little man-made... Um, Man made a little sort of stone blocker to block the waves and made and they'd made like a little bay area that was just, oh, it was delightful. Um, that was kind of where we did a lot of our swimming in the sea. Blocked off all the waves and it was nice and warm. And anyways, there was this little uh, little area where you could sit um, right by the bay um, and you were sat under these little sort of nice umbrellas and obviously the weather's like 30 degrees so it was, it was really nice to sit out there. Um, and we had some cocktails which again they were lovely too. And also another thing, the, 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 the prices there compared to where I live were just so cheap that it was like just so nice to be able to like... Like I can afford stuff here but be able to afford like be able to afford to drink more and eat more and stuff like that. It, it was just it was just very nice. And yeah, um we were sat there and we got a few cocktails really nice and we got our food and one of the stray cats, this little black stray cat, just came and sat on the chair next to me and I was just in heaven. It was just one of the most pleasant experiences of my entire life. It was it was so good. I had such a good time. Um, yeah, just eating one of the best pizzas I've ever eaten, drinking some of the best cocktails I've ever drank, while there is a literal cat sat next to me. Yeah, pretty, pretty fucking good. <laughs> I couldn't really ask for much more from, than a holiday. I was so insanely, insanely relaxed. Um, I was going to do Mirror Room, but it's so far away. I'm not going to bother. I I'm going to go down to the mines, though, because I'm just kind of feeling it. Oh, God. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and, and just just that that on its in itself, that little experience was, was worth every penny that I paid for the holiday. But then we were basically doing something similar to that every single day. We were, like, seeing cats about and, and stroking them and stuff and, like, eating nice food. Um, I got, um, the, the day before we left, I got um, a meal of, it was a pancetta portion because everywhere they called them they called the the meals like portions um okay so oh, we don't have any bombs left damn uh so like i said i was saying about the gyros portion you can get you can get like every meal in a pitta version or in a portion version 
So a pita version is literally just, it comes in like a pita bread um, with some chips and stuff, or a, jar, uh, a portion version is where it comes kind of with everything in a sort of a larger larger size, which I think is really nice. I kind of I kind of wish more places offered that sort of thing. I really like the idea of that. Um, and so anyways, I got um, a, a pancetta portion at one point, which in the UK, when you get pancetta, for the most part, I mean, I love pancetta, it's really nice, but for the most part, it comes in pretty small slithers or it comes in like, little cubes, little blocks, and so that was pretty much what I was expecting, but on the menu it said three piece, so I was kind of like, okay, um, I don't know really what it means by three piece, because it'd be weird to get like three small pieces of it, uh, so I ordered it anyways, because I was intrigued, um, oh god damn it, missed out on Dr. Fetus, um, that could have been kind of interesting, ooh, we got a 30 cent item here, which I believe to be, um, golden, Golden Belt. I'll try. I'll try and afford that. We'll see. Um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Um. So I. I didn't really know what to expect, but I got it, and it was just these three massive, thick slabs of pancetta meat, and oh my god, it was amazing. Another thing that was quite um that was quite popular around there and quite nice was savlaki, which is essentially skewered chicken or pork meat, and um a few times we got that and on one day we, we got this thing called the happy train which is basically like a little train that that, that shows you the sights it go goes around um, the area and shows you a lot of the uh, the nice sights to see and then it takes you to this little um village quite it's quite a way away from where we were staying uh like a few miles away from where we were staying um and it's kind of like slightly up in the hills and um, pretty pretty shut off to be honest but it's like a, a community that honestly hadn't been doing too well during the COVID years and, and a lot of people had like lost their jobs and things so the happy train was a way to bring people to this town to um to spend money there bring tourists there to um to spend money and and sort of fund their community so there was uh, there was only three restaurants there but we went there and we got um a savlaki uh, I, I got savlaki there and we got that satsiki and a few other things as well um and that there was oh i thought i, I thought i was like this might be the, one of the best meats I've ever eaten. But then, later in the day, um, we went for a meal with my parents and two of their friends that, uh, that they meet up with there. Um, and this was their anniversary meal, so we went for a, a meze, which is essentially like uh, Greek tapas. It was, it was just a little bit of everything. Um, and we, we, went, we went for that, and we, we got uh, goat, we got lamb, we got chicken, and we got some pork sablaki. So I was like, okay, the ones earlier were some of the best meat I've ever eaten. And this and this place that we went was significantly more sort of upmarket. Like, nowhere there was really posh, but if if like if you could class it as posh, it was definitely a lot posher than the place we went to earlier in the day at the Happy Train thing. So I was like, okay, how's this gonna be then? And oh my god, I didn't even know it could be better, but it it, it so was. It was it was like the, the one earlier in the day was absolutely fantastic, and the second one was just even better. And I just, I'm not even really sure how. It was just absolutely. I think I'm going to leave that uh, active, you know, because it's, it's, unfortunately we rolled badly and it's essentially useless. I realise it's our starting item, so I shouldn't, but it has been kind of useless. Um... But yeah, like it was just oh, it was some of the best meat I've ever eaten in my entire life. It was fantastic. Um, we got we also had quite a lot of raki, which is um an, an alcohol that you basically get given everywhere you go. Uh, it's a really strong but sort of mostly flavorless spirit that you use as a palate cleanser uh, between courses, and we we drank quite a lot of that. We actually bought some honey one as well, which was really nice. Golden champion belt. There you go. Um, we bought some honey one, which was yeah, very very nice. I was very, very much enjoyed that. Um, okay, let's come back into the secret room here. Wait, I, I forget. Can you... You can, okay. I get the item, whatever this ends up being. Eternal D2. D12, sorry. Uh, nah, I'm going to stick with this. And then in here, not much going on in here. Okay. And yeah, that meal was lovely, although my mum did get unimaginably drunk, which was pretty funny. I'd never really seen her that drunk before, but it was it was her anniversary, her 30th anniversary meal. I'm not going to hold it against her, um, but it, it was a lot of fun, yeah. And then the people, that, that my, my, my mum's friends that were uh, that were there, they, they'd been going to that same city, yeah, the same little village 
town, whatever you want to call it, for like uh, 30 years. They've been holidaying there like three times a year for like 20 or 30 years. So um, they, they made good friends with them, and they were really good company. Uh, definitely, they were, they were older. They were, they were uh, I think, in their early 60s, I believe. Um, but they were really, really pleasant to hang out with. And obviously, they knew some of the good places to go and stuff. So it was just good to have them um, sort of guiding us on our holiday. Which, honestly, the place that we went was pretty small. So you didn't really need a guide as much. But it was still nice for a few places they could suggest. Okay. Damn it. It's always a sad time when you get seven regular coins. It's like, come on. Black powder as well. Ugh. I'm taking some risks here because we've just got golden champion belt, which means everything's going to be dealing full heart damage. But I thought, eh, we'll do another run. We're only at 20 minutes. If we die in this next floor, we'll just do another run. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, just every, everything about the holiday was just, oh god, I've already taken a hit. It was just fantastic. Absolutely. It was so needed and just everything about it was, was pretty much exactly, if not better than imagined. Oh, God. We're at half a heart now. There's a good chance we do a reboot here. Um, it is what it is if we do. Some of these enemies can't be champions, so there's that. That's like a saving grace for us right now. Which is kind of bad, really. <laughs> oh, give me that pill. It could be good. It could be good. The shot speed down. What the hell? Don't do it, sir. Okay. I'm being cautious here. It's not going super great. It's not going super great. I can't remember. Can we only have soul hearts this guy? I don't think I don't think so. I think we had a red heart to start, right? Okay, okay, okay. Oh no! Okay, there you go. The restart is here. We died to a skill issue. That's fine. Okay, let's do a reboot. Um, we're gonna go as their Jerusalem again and just see what we get this time around. Um, let's see, what's our active? We get um, a temporary creatine powder, which is pretty good, and 4% chance to use some S. Um, yeah, not quite sure what that's about, but I'll take it. So by temporary, is it a single, yeah, it's a single room, which is fine. And actually that's kind of good because we can stack it if, we, if we're if we in a one room for a long time. Let me just see. Stacking it does work. Yeah, okay, that's, this is pretty good. We got we got an interesting setup going on here. Uh, certainly interesting. We also got one of these reroll machines, which I'm going to try and use. Didn't really pay out too well, to be honest, considering we paid too, um... Two thingies into that, but eh, whatever. We'll take it. Go into our item room in a second. I just kind of missed it there. But yeah, what else? What else did we get up to on holiday? Uh, on one day, we went to a place called Spinalonga, which is uh, the last known, like the last leper island that exists in Greece. By the way, someone told me that I was an absolute fucking goober in this room, and that uh, there's an item behind the pillars. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> I got really mad last time I found that room because I was like, eh, what the hell? Um, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> thinking the game had proper screwed me over. No, 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 I'm just an idiot. It was very, very clear that there was obviously a way to get an item in there and I just didn't catch on because my brain's small. So thank you for pointing that out to me, viewers. Thank you for pointing that out to me. But yeah, we want to be we want to be popping creatine powder pretty much all the time. Also, it seems that this character always starts with three um, smelted trinkets, which is kind of weird. So we, we've got, I think we've got no. What what is that? Is that sharp plug we've got started there? Uh, we've got some sort of chalice which I don't recognise, and a little monster, and then the heart locket. This is some confusing stuff going on here. Although I will say, little monster, very very good. But yeah, so we went to this place called Spinalonga on like a day a day out, like a boat trip. Um, and it's it's uh, the last uh, leper colony in Greece. Which um, for those of you that don't know, is leper colonies are uh, basically quarantine zones for people with leprosy. Um, back when that was a, a bigger issue. Oh yes. Um, when leprosy was sort of rife. Um, they needed to separate the people with leprosy because it was it was an airborne disease, highly contagious, and of course, for those of you that don't know what it does, it makes you lose your body parts and limbs and stuff and your skin. It's it's pretty it's pretty terrible. Um, so what they did in Greece and a few other places is 
they just, like, took an island and sent all the lepers there. Um, but um, the it was pretty interesting. So, obviously, it was, it was like, quite, like, a lot of it was ruins. It was quite a small island. It was little ruins. But the, the tour guide was really interesting and quite enthusiastic. Like, I kind of expected the tour guide to be pretty, like... If they do this every day at their job, they're just going to be bored stiffless of talking about um, some weapons for longer. But they gave us quite a quite a like comprehensive like back end of what what was going on, um, and it was it was kind of different than we expected because the island actually hadn't always been a leper colony, obviously, but it had been it had been used. Um, to defend the the shores of Greece, Ooh, what, what we got here increases the chance for a moral heart, immoral hearts, cursed pennies, dire chests, spicy keys, and copper bombs. That just sounds fun. I'm just gonna take that. Thank you for the luck upgrade. Um, yeah, and it it'd been used for a few different things, and it was only in like the 1950s, I think, or 1940s or something like that, that it was used as a leper colony. Um. And also, like, basically, like, it was my, my impression as well as pretty much everyone else's that was there, that the the way that it would, it kind of worked is, like, everyone that went there was just assuming they were sent, they're being sent to their death. Like, you, you go, you go to the leper colony and you kind of, like, you've kind of, like, okay, well, this is me. Um, I'm dead. But apparently, um, the, they had, like, quite an, a fairly advanced, like, enclosed community and, and ecosystem and stuff. Like, they, they had their own farming plots, they had their own, like, economy and stuff. Um, and they, they actually, which I, I was surprised to find this out as well, they, they did a lot of trading with their, the mainland. Um, they, they, like, grew things and sold them to the mainland, which, yeah, I found surprising. Because like, I, I didn't think people want to buy stuff grown by lepers, but apparently they didn't care. Um, but, yeah, like, it was, apparently they were, um, a, quite a sort of tightly knit community, and eventually they were, um, they were allowed to, like, visit their family off of the island, and, uh, and, and, like, and eventually they were, they were told officially that they can just leave the island, they no longer need to be quarantined there. Uh, I'm gonna take Sissy, why not? Um, and in doing that, they, uh, they came off the island, and like very shortly after pretty much all of them returned because they had like all of their like family and everyone had kind of like moved on and left and no one was waiting for them so they were obviously kind of depressed to find out that uh but what what the hell's going on with this room is there something i'm meant to be doing in this room what is that room meant to be like that that doesn't seem right. But yeah, they ended up returning. So they, they'd been sort of basically sent to this island to die. And, and kind of people thought that it was this sort of, I won't say punishment, but like kind of a dead man's island. But it ended up being that they liked it there. Uh, damage against bosses is always good, although that would have been a little bit better. Yeah, I have no idea if I'm meant to be able to get through that room or not. Because um, it looks like I need a bomb, which I do have them, which is good. But... Kind of weird. To Whoa! Hello. What well, that was? That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. Okay, nice. Doing pretty well here. A hey. more moral hearts. I'll take them. Thank you muchly. Sig Monstro is doing his uh, doing his best. Have it, little Monstro is honestly such a good item early game. People do not realize how good he is. But yeah, it was also just really, really nice to, like... I, I, for the most part, I didn't take my phone anywhere with me. Oh my god, we've got so many luck upgrades so far. Yeah, for the most part, I didn't take my phone anywhere with me. And for the most part, I, and like, I didn't really check my YouTube comments or anything. I did I did play a bit of Brotato because um, someone ported it over to mobile with the developer's permission. So I downloaded that and played a bunch of that, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't been using my active, by the way. And that is stupid because it literally just gives me damage. I should be using it at all times. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to like kind of take a complete tech break. Like stay away from my phone, stay away from gaming, stay away from YouTube, all that sort of good stuff. As much as I love doing this, I think like 
having a nice break from it has probably revitalized my interest and revitalized my, yeah, I, I'm just gonna have to bomb through this, aren't I? Is, is there something I'm missing with this? Why did I bomb there? That was stupid. I don't know, that was weird. Um, That was strange. But yeah, like, as much as I enjoy doing this, uh, I, I it, it'd been an incredibly long time uh, since I'd had a real week's break from YouTube, from recording videos and gaming in general. It'd been a very long time. Um, so it was really nice to just have a complete free week where I didn't do any of it. I didn't touch it. I didn't think about it. I didn't look at it. I just enjoyed my time off. And it was, it recharged my batteries a little bit. I think now that I'm back to it now, I'm enjoying it more because of my time away from it. I mean, even just, I'm hoping you guys can tell, even just the commentary in this video, I feel like it's flowed better than usual. I mean, I'm not saying that the commentary is normally bad, but like, Sometimes there can be a little bit of a difficulty with the topics, a little bit of a difficulty with the uh, storytelling sort of thing. Whereas when you have a week, you have like a week's worth of things to talk about, especially a holiday. You've got that's another look. Great, God damn. Um, there's just there's just a lot to go at, a lot to kind of oh, a lot to utilize for the conversation. It's it just keeps it flowing. I like it. It's been it's been really nice. Dude, the the X pattern every time. Again, yeah, the X pattern every time. And Krampus's head. I'm sorry. Look up. Damn it. Okay, let's go. No mines this time. No mines this time. Let's let's keep our health a rolling. Let's keep our health a rolling. Let's 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 go. I do like the fact that um unintentionally people asked about doing me doing a deleted streak and I was kind of like, ah, oh, maybe I'll get around to it at some point. Unintentionally I've ended up essentially doing it. So I might as well just carry on with the trend now and finish finish out the other deleted characters whenever I can. This one is definitely the most vanilla because there's no corrupted items. Uh, but I still really like the idea of this 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 uh Eden style one where you get a a wacky corrupted active. Uh, that you can do some interesting stuff with. Although I feel like th this one is probably the most prone to hold our abuse. Molten Dime, though. I, I can't just because this is such a good um, active item. But Molten Dime is, is truly, truly something else. One thing I keep like forgetting as well is... My active doesn't have an activation animation, which means I can just spam it. Like, I can just keep spamming spacebar on in a room, and it'll just use it when ready, and it won't stop me from firing or anything. Mo. Mo. Be a little careful of the frog boys. They look good. I'll check the shop real quick as well here. I'd like to buy some soul hearts, really. Or I'd like to fight you. That's what I meant, actually. You're picking up the coins, fool. That one blew up. Okay, fair. Oh, I got a... I got an item here? Oh, wait, what? No, no, I didn't. Okay. I had a string of some... It was like a string in my inventory there. But then it disappeared. I don't know what that was about. I could not tell you. I could not tell you. We need some damage ups, because then creatine powder will pop off even more. It's already popping off a good bit. It'll pop off even more if we have some uh, damage ups for it to play around with. Right. Yeah, I like the fact that our active is such quick charging as well. That that certainly helps. Oh god, you did not fire the way I expected you to. We might have another death here. It's certainly plausible, but I'm just going to attribute that to my lack of Isaac over the past nine days or so. I'm just not in the in the rhythm, in the groove of my normal play. Um, I tried my best, but I didn't succeed. It is what it is. Dude, you spot- No, they both made it back. Stop! This is- This is tricky. I'm having a hard time. Okay, we're good, we're good. That was- That was a little bit tricky. Hello, you. Good. More of these pennies coming in. As long as they don't give me look downs, I don't care. I'm liking my look right now. I'm liking my look. 
But yeah, also, I'm not going to go into any, like, major details about it, just because I don't think I can or should. Uh, but while I was on holiday, obviously I've been on holiday from work as well, that's another thing. I've been off work while I've been on holiday, obviously. Um, which I haven't, I haven't taken a, 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 a holiday off of work for a while, so that was also needed. But, uh, while I was on holiday, um, some major, major shit went down at my work. Um, some sh all I'm gonna say is there was some, um, fairly big shifts in management. There was some fairly big shift-ups in management. Um, and it was pretty unexpected to happen while I was away, so, uh, I've, ret like, it's, it's Sunday when I'm recording this, but tomorrow... I'll have returned to that, which I'm intrigued about. Um, it's certainly not what I was expecting to be dealing with when I got back. Certainly not something I was foreseeing. Uh, but also kind of interesting, for considering we're a startup that's fairly small. It's not something that you see very often, but uh, yeah, it, it kind of is what it is. And I'm, it's going have to gonna have to be something that I probably am pretty majorly involved in, in sorting out and uh, dealing with, which is... I don't know. It, it, it like it's it's it sounds kind of scary, but it it also maybe sounds a bit. I would say fun, but like it sounds like it'll definitely be a, an, an engaging and interesting week. <laughs> I'm sure. Another look upgrade here. Could really do with some uh, damage increasing items right about now. Like, the creatine powder's good, but it, it just eh, doesn't really pop yet, does it? Did that the wrong way around completely, didn't I? Yeah, I, I still have a feeling that, that death is very much on the cards for us today. But, like I said, I'm just out of practice. It's it's going to happen. I mean, I've never claimed to be a, a good Isaac player. Um, and I, I never will, I'll be honest. <laughs> I have 1,500 hours in the game on Steam, plus whatever extra I have offline on Steam, which is a good amount. Um, but doesn't mean I'm good. It just means I'm knowledgeable about the game. I am knowledgeable about it. I am not good at it. Don't ever think that I am. Yeah, let's be a little bit cautious. Oh my lord. Yeah, just taking damage like... Do you know... I, I, keep, I keep talking about like various bugs that could do with fixing. Various things that could do with fixing. That is another one that if modders would like to take their hand at fixing, I would not be displeased. When that guy fucking spawns enemies, they should spawn in front of him, not beneath him. I didn't even know there was a pooter there. The only the only indication there was a pooter there is the noise of its wings flapping. That's it. Very frustrating. Which kind of is what it is, but still saddening. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going mighty hot. Ooh, what the hell's this? Small chance to activate on damage. Oh, 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 that's really cool. Hmm. I mean, right now, I don't think... Actually, actually that spawns that could spawn leeches. That is a really, 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 really cool idea for a trinket. I've got to be honest. I think that has really interesting potential for certain um, certain items. Like Gimpy, for example. God damn. That setup with Gimpy could be pretty good. And the fact that it can work with multiple at the same time. This is like a perfect room to try this out. We'll see if we spawn any leeches. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bomb a few of these because I want to... There you go. Okay, it didn't, it didn't spawn any leeches, but that might just be because we're at the limit. Of how many leeches we're allowed to have right now, which is plausible. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I see you there. That was very close. I very nearly walked into that. Uh, notch snacks. Oh, we got an all stats up. It even gives the health up. No way. Give me another all stats up. It's a super low chance to get it, but I'm a gambler. I don't mind. I'll keep going on this. I enjoy it enough. There's another luck upgrade. Too bad we don't have anything that scales off of luck, right? 
if we did redeem the money. So I think the all stats up and the explosion are about as rare as one another. Things are looking looking good in certain aspects, not so good in others. You see, creatine powder is... Oh, you bastard, it blew up on the first pull. Creatine powder is giving us a, a slight bit more damage now, each use. God, careful of that guy, and this guy as well. Actually, this guy's not too bad. He spawns a little spider, but we can deal with him. It's this dude that I meant. Oh, he still hit me. God damn it. Keep using creatine powder too early as well. I'm stupid. Midas Touch. Oh, wait. Is that just a reskinned Midas Touch? Where, where's this reskin coming from? It is. I don't know what reskin that's from. That's an interesting reskin. I've, I've never seen that one before. It must have been an update to a mod that I'm using while I was on holiday. Oh, also, you might be noticing that I'm not, I don't have the Ascension mod on. I did check some of the comments when I got back and I saw that people weren't really a fan of it, so. And we hadn't, we hadn't progressed any of Ascensions anyway, so I thought we'll just get rid for now. You guys thought it was an unnecessary addition of difficulty. Thought it was like punishing for doing well, which is kind of the point. Like, it's not punishing for doing well, but it's like increasing the difficulty because you did well, but I'm completely fine without it if you guys are too, which you seem to be, so. I'm not going to force it on anyone. Right. I like our costume with Midas here. This is pretty cool. Oh, God. I don't know why that explosion was not what I was expecting. Okay. We are currently one hit away from death. I, I'd say the shop is going to save us. But I actually don't know. It's back again. It did kind of save us. I was right. Oh, the bloody spicy key. I didn't even know that was there. It's because we got that item that makes them more common, isn't it? Oh, god damn it. That thing's animations are broken, so I didn't... Uh, whatever. It is what it is. Right. Boss time. Yeah, we're getting a lot more damage now. Yeah, these guys are going down fast. Holy, yeah, that was that was quick. I'm gonna speed up for that as well. Okay. Good to go. This has been an interesting uh, interesting run so far, though. An interesting just video in general. I hope you guys are, are in agreement. It's just kind of nice to be back. It is, it is like... It, like I said, it was good to have that break, but also it's just... It's very, very weird for me to not record, because it's like... It's kind of ingrained into my daily routine at this point. Like, I always do an Isaac video every day, so it was kind of a little bit jarring and felt a little bit weird to not record an Isaac video that day because I'd literally been recording them pretty much every single day since the release of Repentance. So it was kind of a little bit funky to not. This trinket's pretty good with Midas Touch, actually. I wonder if there's any infinite loops. Like, I wonder how this trinket... Like... Does it scale with luck? Probably not, but like have it with like piggy bank or something. That could kind of be interesting. First hat's good. We've got to uh, open the spike chest just for the chance of on-hit effects. Damn it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to trigger the leeches, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I was about to say, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this room. That's pretty cool though. I like it. Crack. People have been telling me that I'm dumb for using those on the uh, thingies. I, I've got to be using them for crawl spaces. People are right. People are right. But they... It, it feels a bit cheesy because the crawl space thing was added after the fact. Uh, excuse me? How do I... Do I got a... 
I see. Diffuse. I see. Interesting. This was an error room. That was not my intention. This is also a rather strange error room. Was a glitched item similar to those? Ooh. This is stupid. PhD better pill. Heals um, 1.5 red hearts, two, plus 2 coins, may affect damage. We'll never know. Also... Congratulations, game. You have softlocked me. Um, Wait, what? Oh! No, you haven't. Bizarre. How strange. What the hell? I now don't have Polaroid or negative. I think that that's another quote-unquote bug. It's not really a bug. But I think that any any time that you um, that you somehow get to the womb without the Polaroid or negative when you have them unlocked, it should just it should just give you one of them. Even if it's random. That'd be a nice addition. Which I know sounds like a little bit cheaty, but I just think that it's just kind of dumb to not have them. Like, almost every single time you don't have them, it's it's through no fault of your own. Oh, God. Got a little one of these dudes about. Come on now. Okay. We get five damage on our creatine powers. Wait, why did it use three at once? Oh my lord. Why is it giving us so much creatine powders in one use now? Holy. Okay, we need to try and stay alive here because that's nutty. I don't know why it's using it three times at once, but I can get behind it. We get so much damage each time. No, and I got I got hit. Anyways, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely a fun run. I'll see you guys in the next one.